So it's sort of a trade-off there between the two definitions of how you might describe or look at scalability. However, I would say that in general, S4 HANA has a bit of an advantage here because of the breadth of capability, but also because the S4 architecture, the S4 database and the whole architecture that S4 HANA is built on is really meant to scale for large, massive organizations, large computing power, large volumes of transactions. So if you're a large multinational organization, it might be that S4 HANA has more scalability in terms of pure transaction power and just the ability to provide breadth of capabilities as well. How much does it cost and how risky is it gonna be for us to deploy one of these two solutions? And in general, I would say that S4 HANA is gonna be the more complex and the more risky solution. Reason being that it's a large, robust, diverse system that can do a lot of different things. It can be heavily customized. It can be integrated to other systems. SAP provides third-party systems that can bolt on to S4 HANA. And with that comes a lot of complexity. Now, don't get me wrong, it also comes with a lot of potential business value too. There's a lot of potential ROI from doing that, but in general, that's gonna be a little bit more risky than if you were to go with something like a work 